you don't just belong to a kingdom you represent the king of the kingdom and the world is looking at you and learning about your king the church is the physical face of the spiritual kingdom the church is the earthly face of the heavenly kingdom and if the king is here his kingdom is here if you're standing in the presence of the king you're surrounded by the presence of his kingdom so limitless church welcome to the kingdom turn to your neighbor and say welcome to the kingdom the word of god is the words from a king and let the king tell us about his kingdom this is the king speaking listen to what the king has to say then he said i promise you this if you don't change and become like a king like a king like a child really oh i thought oh uh, i i thought it was king but king says if you don't change and become like a child you will never get into the kingdom ah oh, these are the words of jesus himself these are the words of the king about his kingdom and the king says the way to get into the starting point your number one requirement is you got to become like a child. child that's the starting place of the kingdom and since today is the starting day of the sermon series kingdom i thought it would be a good idea to let the king tell us about his kingdom listen to this do you belong to a kingdom If you belong to a kingdom then you represent a king. You don't just belong to a kingdom, you represent the king of the kingdom. And the world is looking at you and learning about your king. The world is looking at you and learning about Jesus. because the world is not reading your bibles the world is reading you uh, for this sunday you have to know you don't belong you don't the kingdom doesn't belong to you you belong to the kingdom and to belong to the kingdom you have to become like a child that's what jesus says if you don't change and become like a child if you don't change say change, change and become like a child you don't belong to the kingdom kingdom the reason jesus asks you to become a child again is because you have stopped receiving from your father you are a child of god but you have stopped receiving from god yes you are a child of god but you stop depending on god think about this you have children some of you have children think of this okay uh, your child you are a you are a parent your child lives in your house and goes to your neighbor's house to beg for food that is you by the way imagine this your child lives in your house sleeps in your bed wakes up in the morning and before going to school runs to your neighbor's house begging for breakfast and that's you and that you feeling bad that is how your heavenly father feels when you leave the father's house and go around the world begging for blessings and for success that's you me say that me yeah you Luke 15 Jesus told them a story after telling them be a child he said listen to this a man had two sons the younger son told his father i want my share of your estate now before you die 
So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his two sons. A few days later, the younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land, which sometimes I think is England, because a lot of people go. Uh, and there he wasted all his money in wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept all over the land and he began to starve. Then he persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him to his fields to feed the pigs. Yeah? You're reading it or you're dreaming or you're texting? The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good for him. But no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, I can't eat the pig, uh, he said to himself, at home, even the hired servants have enough money to spare. And here am I dying. I am dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion. Is that how you see your heavenly father, filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, kissed him. And his son said to him, Father, I've sinned against both heaven and you. I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. And his father said, shut up. But his father said to the servants, quick, bring the finest robe in the house, put it on him. Bring, get a ring for his finger, sandals for his feet, kill the calf. We have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead. Now he has returned to life. This story probably is one of the most famous stories in the Bible. And if it's not the most famous story, it's probably the most famous parable. Yeah. The parable of the pigs. The parable of the prodigal son. It's so famous. But the problem is because this parable is so famous, the secret... Say secret. Because I'm going to tell you the secret. Check this out. Check this out. This is crazy. This is crazy. When he finally came back to his senses, he said to himself. Senses said to himself. He came to his senses and he said to himself. He came to his senses, the power of the mind. And he said to himself, the power of your words. That's the secret of the kingdom. When he came back to his senses, the power of the mind, and he said to himself, the power of his words, everything changed. This was the turning point. The father was already waiting. He was already waiting. Your father is already waiting. But the turning point of the story was when he came back to his senses and he said to himself, Everything changed when he changed his mindset and when he changed his words. Everything will change in your life when you change your mindset and you change your words. He went from living with the pigs to living in the palace when he changed his mindset and he changed his words. You also can go from living in poverty to living in prosperity when you change your mindset and you change your words. You can go from living as a failure to living with God's favor in your life when you change your mindset and you change your words. This is the secret of the kingdom. You came for the kingdom. It is not about dumb. This is the secret. You have to change. That's the secret of the kingdom. The devil is not holding you in your sickness. Stop casting, minding, putting oil on your head, putting salt around the floor. It's your mindset keeping you in sickness. It's your words. Change your mindset. Change your words. You'll change your life and you'll change the world. That's why Jesus says, become like a child. If you don't become like a child, you'll never get into the kingdom. What is becoming like a child? What does it mean? Becoming like a child is being fully dependent on God. Right? But here's the gold of the sermon. 
Becoming a child is having the mindset of your father. Let me ask you this question. Who do you think formed your mindset when you were a little child? Your parents, your mother, your father, right? Why? Because you, listen to this very carefully, you spend the first years of your life hearing and hearing the words from your father, from your mother. I'm getting somewhere. You spend the first years of your life hearing and hearing words like, you are the most beautiful girl in the world. You are the most beautiful uh, boy in the world. You are the best. You can do anything. That's why you grew up thinking you can be anything. Do you ever talk like this to babies? Do you ever complain to babies? Or do you ever say, baby, do you know how many problems are there in this world? Baby, do you know how many potholes are there on the road? Baby, do you know how much pollution is there in the air? Baby, do you know how bad this world is? Baby, do you know how many wars are going on? Baby, you know the world is ending? You tell. You, I'm coming at you now. All you people, or end of day, you, you scare the whole world. The world is ending. The world is ending. And for your baby, no, 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 because as a child, you're hearing and hearing the words from your father and from your mother. Question, where does faith come from? Hearing and hearing the words of your heavenly father. That's why Jesus says, go back to that place of becoming a child. Just like you were hearing and hearing the words of your earthly father and mother. Go back to hearing the words of your heavenly father and heavenly mother. Just like you let your earthly parents shape your mindset. Can you let your heavenly father shape your mindset? And just like you were repeating the words of your father and of your mother. Remember, when you were a baby, what your mother says, you would say. What your father, that's why parents don't speak in front of the children because they keep on repeating outside and tell all the family secrets, right? Right, 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 right. That's why, right, that's why my child says I'm the best, I'm the princess because I say only good things. But, um, right, just like you were repeating the words of your earthly father and your earthly mother, Jesus says, can you go back to being a child and can you repeat the word of your heavenly father that he says by his stripes you are healed not my words daddy but your words I'm just repeating because I'm just like a child that is what happens when you become like a child you change your mindset and you change that's your secret of the kingdom and you know I'm not done I'm not done what do you think? Today's kingdom. No, just two minutes. One minute, one minute. One minute more. Because I want to show you what happens when you change your mindset and you change your words. Get ready to become a child again. This is only for children. This is not for adults. This is not for uncles and aunties. This is for a child. Any children in the house? Oh my God. Because your father, when he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming, filled with love and compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. But his father said to his servants, bring the finest robe, quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet and kill the calf that we have been fattening. When you change your mindset, you change your words, you have a father waiting for you. Kingdom, kingdom, the most powerful thing about kingdom is not the dom. Forget about the dom. Let's talk about the dom later. First, let's talk about the king. The most important thing about kingdom is the king. And you have to know 
what your king is doing right now. Your king is waiting. Your king is waiting. I said your king is waiting. Your king is waiting. With what? With all his love to give you. Your king is waiting with all his compassion to give you. And not just that. Your king is waiting with a robe to give you. With his favor to give you. Your king is waiting with a ring to give you. With authority to give you. Your king is waiting with sandals to give you. With purpose to give you. Your king is waiting with goodness to give you. With every good thing in heavenly places. Your king is waiting with blessings after blessings after blessings after blessings and your king is waiting for his son for his daughter your king is waiting for you to get up from your place can you get up from those pigs in your life your king is waiting for sons and daughters to open their mouth and start cheering and start speaking the word of God in their life. Your king is waiting for sons and daughters to come back to the kingdom. kingdom. 